Hello and welcome to my home tuition's YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to use the differentiation to determine the maximum or minimum point of a quadratic function and then use the table mode of the Casio FX 570EX class width calculator to verify the answer. This is a video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In previous video, we discussed finding the maximum or minimum point of a quadratic function by using the vertex form and also using the Casio FX570EX calculator to verify our answer. In this video, I will cover using differentiation combined with the table mode in the Casio FX570EX calculator to determine the maximum or minimum point of a quadratic function. Before we begin, let's go over some fundamentals of differentiation. I'm not going to get into specifics about differentiations. I will simply go over the fundamentals. The focus of this video is using the table mode of the FX570EX class width calculator to find the maximum or minimum point of a function. Number one. Differentiate a function against x or dy dx is equal to the gradient function of the graph. A gradient function is a function that can be used to find the gradient of the graph at any point. For the time being, this is all you need to know about differentiation. Number two, at the maximum or minimum point of a graph, the gradient is equal to zero. Since dy dx is the gradient function and the gradient at the maximum or minimum point is equal to zero, we can conclude that at the maximum or minimum point, dy dx is equal to zero. We are going to use this to find the maximum or minimum point of a quadratic function. Let's see this example. Determine the coordinates of the minimum point of the quadratic function y equals to x squared minus 6x plus 5. State the coordinates of the point where the graph cross the x and y axis. Uh, in order to find the maximum or minimum point, we differentiate uh, these functions. So uh, y equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. dy dx is equal to 2x minus 6. So this is the gradient function of this function. And the gradient functions can be used to find the gradient. And we learned that at the minimum point, dy dx is equal to 0. Therefore, this 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. 2x equal to 6. x equal to 3. This is the x coordinate of the minimum point. Okay, and to find the y coordinate, we substitute these values of x into the function y equal to 3 square minus 6 times 3 plus 5. So this is equal to 9 minus 18 plus 5, which is equal to negative 4. This is the y coordinates of the minimum point. Okay, so the minimum point is is equal to 3, negative 4. We are going to use our calculator to verify this answer later. Now in the question, they also ask us to state the coordinates of the point where the graph cross the x and y axis, which means they want us to find the x intercept and the y intercept. Okay, now at x intercept, y equal to zero. Okay, let's see the coordinates charticians here. Okay, so this is y axis, this is x axis. Okay, at y axis, our x is equal to zero and at x axis our y equals to zero so at x intercept y equal to zero when y equal to zero so we write x square minus 6x plus 5 equal to zero the y equal to zero 
okay and to solve this we uh, factorize these quadratic uh, expressions so x minus 5 x minus 1 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 x equals to 5 now these two are the x intercept okay and how about the y intercept at y intercept x equal to 0 therefore y equal to 0 square minus 6 times 0 plus 5 which is equal to 5 so these are the x intercept and the y intercept of this quadratic function we got the solution to these questions in the previous slide. Let's check our solution with the Casio FX 570EX calculator. In this video, I will use the calculator's table mode to check our result. Before we begin, let's have a look at what we want the calculator to show us. This is the result that we want to have. The table contains numerous values of x as well as the related values of the fx and gx. fx denotes the function y equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5, whereas gx denotes dy dx of this function. From the table, we can see that when dy dx equal to 0, the corresponding values of x and y are 3 and negative 4. And we learn that this is the minimum point of this quadratic function. Now let's see how do we perform these calculations in our calculators. We are going to use the table mode in the calculators to perform the calculations. Therefore, let's go to the menu and use the cursor keys to move the highlight until we see table. Then uh, press equal to go into this calculation mode. And they ask us what is, what is our fx. Our fx is the functions. So let's key in x squared minus 6x plus 5. So this is our functions equal. And then they ask us what is our gx. If you still remember, gx is our differentiation dy dx. Huh? So gx is dy dx. So in our calculators, dy dx is under this key here. So shift dy dx, then key in the functions that we would like to differentiate, which is x squared minus 6x plus 5. So x squared minus 6x plus 5. Okay, and then key in the values of the x that we would like it to calculate. So we would like it to calculate for all the values of x. So let's key in x and then press equal. And uh, this is a table range. Yeah? We would like the calculators to calculate from, let's say, negative 10 to 10, okay, with a step 1. So we can see that the calculators start with the x equals to negative 10 and then followed by negative 9 and then negative 8, 8, okay. This is because I asked the calculator to start from negative 10 and then with a step 1. So every time the the x value will increase by 1. Okay, so uh, this is the function fx, x squared minus 6x plus 5, and this is the values of the dy dx. Eh? So we know that at minimum point dy dx equals 0, so we scroll down this screen until we see dy dx equal to 0. Okay, so from here we can see that when dy dx equals 0, our x is equal to 3, and our y equals to negative 4 and this is the minimum point okay and we can see that uh, the result that we got in previous slide is correct the minimum point is 3 and negative 4 3 and negative 4 and uh, the table can also allow us to check the x intercept and y intercept and we learned that for x intercept our y equal to 0 so fx is the y so y equal to 0, our x equals to 1. Yes, this is one of the x-intercept. So let's scroll down more. Okay, so we have another x-intercept. When y equal to 0, x equals to 5. This is our second x-intercept. 
So we can see that not only we can check the coordinates of the minimum point, we can also check the coordinates of the x intercept and y intercept. At x intercept, our y equal to zero, and at our y intercept, our x equal to zero. So let's check when x equal to zero, when x equal to zero, yes. When x equal to zero, our y equals to five, which means the y intercept is zero, five. So this is a very handy tool for us to check the minimum point, the x-intercept, and the y-intercept.